everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm repainting the gloomy Yuria that I did a mod on a couple weeks ago. Before I started this face up, I airbrushed the modifications on her mouth to match the rest of her resin. Then I sealed the doll thoroughly and started painting eyelashes. The very first part of this video somehow got lost, so you can see I've already gotten a couple strokes in for the eyelashes. Today's face up is going to be a little bit different from what I'm used to doing. These eyelashes are very bold compared to what I usually do, but most of the black color will be hidden underneath the blushing. She gets some thick and dramatic eyeliner, but it takes a little bit of effort because the sealant has a little bit more tooth than I'm used to working with. As a result, there's a little bit of feathering of both the eyeliner and the eyelashes, so it takes a little bit of extra concentration and cleanup to get a good result. I try to keep cotton swabs, water, and a magic eraser sponge handy anytime that I do a face up, just in case I need to clean up spots like these. I don't usually use black for the eyelid crease, but since she'll have very dark eyeshadow, anything lighter would get lost. Then it's time for eyebrows. This is one of the unusual cases where I end up liking the first eyebrow better, and the second one needs a little bit of adjustment. I'll reshape it with a magic eraser, but I'll do that off camera because since this doll is airbrushed to match, I'm a little bit nervous about the cleanup process. I'll want to make sure I do it over a sink so that I have good lighting and good control. That and using the magic eraser when it's wet makes it a lot easier to remove acrylic paint. I paint her mouth using a few different shades of red that I mixed ahead of time. Some are more pink and some are more purple, which should add more convincing depth. Once I'm happy with these base layers of paint, it's time to start blushing. Using an eyebrow brush that's meant for humans, I start adding color around her eyes and over her eyebrows. You can see that the extra tooth in the sealant really takes the pastel, so there end up being a few places that are a little bit blotchier than I want, or a little more heavily saturated. I blend these better using a cotton swab, which can help pick up some of the extra pigment.
The first layer of blushing will be warm peaches and a little bit of pink on her cheeks. I'm not happy with how the color went on the first side, so I'll clean that off and try again in a minute. For the lips, I'm doing something a little different. I put on a base coat of red using pastels, and then I'm going to use watercolor pencils for the rest of her lips. I love these Prismacolor pencils for the lips because they have a really soft lead. I think they're the softest of the watercolor pencils I've used. I don't do much with the first layer, mostly just outlining the edges of the lips and adding a little bit of color to the middle. Then I seal and move on to black pastel. Sealing the doll many times can cause pastels and watercolor pencils to eventually look a little washed out in color, so I try to balance what I'm doing. Every time I seal the doll, I make sure I've added as much blushing as I can and as much watercolor pencil as possible. In order to get my blending of the pencil smoother, I use a paintbrush dipped in water. This lets me push color into more difficult areas, like the corners of her mouth. Since I don't need fine detail in this area and I'm more interested in getting a smooth result, it also helps to draw on a wet surface, because it makes the pencils blend more easily. build up the colors around the eyes with a lot of different layers. I want brown to be the dominant color, so I use it last. This creates a base for pearl pigment. I use two different colors of pearl pigment and apply it really heavily across the eyelids. I add white acrylic to her teeth, being very careful not to get it anywhere else. Now 
Once I'm satisfied with all the pearl pigment on the eyelids, I use just a little bit of black watercolor pencil to help bring out her eyeliner again. A little bit of gloss for her eyes and her mouth, and then she's done. This is a much more dramatic face-up than what I usually do, but since it was really different, it was also really fun. Now she's ready to go home, and hopefully her owner likes her when she arrives. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.